Great evening, holy brothers and sisters! <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us tonight for another extremely exciting event. We have Rabbi Shalom Arush here who's going to blow us away, and Rabbi Dayan Elgar is going to make sure that we understand what he's saying as well. As an icebreaker, just to make sure everybody's awake, we have some clues down here. Hopefully in the back you can see some. These are all words that rhyme with Rav A. Rush. Rush, thank you very much. So when we get up to the point in the poem where you think one of the worm, the, one of the worms, one of the words are going to rhyme with it, either raise your hand or call out something that you see in front, and you'll be awarded a prize from Rabbi Shalom Rush himself. And at the end you can have it signed and inscribed at the end of the event. Okay, so just begin. Welcome, one and all. We'd like to say hi. Somebody raise your hand. What is, pick a word, pick a word. Yish. Nope. Oh, you should say his name. Nope. Rabbi Arush. Somebody says hi, Ush. You see, he says hi, Ush? Right there. Okay, so come up for a little bit. Hi, Ush. To be honoring our holy, Rav. Uh, you gotta raise your hand. Somebody raise your hand. Who said hi, Ush? Arush, okay. Who said hi, Ush? Nobody. We'll give Arush and please hand her one of the books from the back. Take out Rabbi Arush's name. Right there. Here we go. You have come from near and far. Me hodu viad. Kush. Kush, right there. Thank you very much. We're gonna hand out another safer to the wonderful lady in the back. And we'll take out the word kush. You getting how the game is going? Very good. Some flew in on planes, some an, some on a horse drawn. Kush. With reins. What? It's a wagon that horses are drawn by. Anybody know what it is? Barouche. Okay, we'll take that one down, it's a hard word. No need to dress fancy, not your weekday. Raise your hand, somebody. Lavouche, very good. Give that man a prize. Take down the word Lavouche. And we don't define you by your clothes, even if they're old raggy. Starts with the T. Tarbush, very good. <laughs> winner, winner, right here. As exciting as a party hosted by King. Right here, Akash Verush, very good. We're here to hear Amuna, not to eat, just a lavish. Raise your hand. Kiddush, right there, in the black hat in the back. The woman wearing the black hat, not the man. Get ready for an inspirational words, and here are some great... Oh, we need a hand up, hand up. Chidosh, okay, right here. Chidosh. So take notes for later on your tablet. Raise your hand. Nope. Starts with a C. Cartouche. Cartouche, very good. We're learning English here too. If rather here for economics, Look up this man's name. Sergei Yeah, Sergei Lachush. Very good. We have an educator here. Or if psychiatry, try out this man. Jurgen Rush. Yes, Jurgen. Jurgen Rush. Tonight we learn about Emuna with a holy. Starts with a P. Perush. What? Perush. Okay, you with me, Chad? Yep. Perush, right here. Standing up, the lady. Oh, we're running out of words, all right. And how to never give up. There's no thing as... Yeah, Yeyush. Yeyush. Benny Becker, take that one. Thank you very much. Coming slowly through the doors, there's no need to shove and... Push. 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 The young man. Bar Mitzvah boy? Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you. Have a seat. There's still lots of room. No need to squeeze in or... Raise your hand. Squish. Squish. There we go. Prize right in the back. When we're all... It's getting easier now, right? When we're done up on this bima, please don't all come up and... Push. Raise your hand. Ambush. Smush. That's a hard one. Not push. Who said that? Smush. Smush, right there. With the tickle. Smush. The Rav will stay around for questions. There's no need for him to... Ambush. Ambush. There we go. With the black coat. Ambush. Raise your hand. Ambush. So get ready for your soul to soar out and... 
Swoosh. Very merry. Thank you. As we get ready for the one and only, Rav Shalom. Everyone together? All right. <laughs> Very good. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Now, a quick word for our sponsors. And instead of making it just boring and telling you who they are, we have a quick little tizzy about each one. Chazak, right here in the middle. Thank you. Chazak offers program programming for all, for seniors to couples, even teens that are small. They imbue the richness of our religion through classes and support that is warmly given. Thank you, Chazak. Now the daily dose of divinity. If you're looking to learn with extreme energy, open up YouTube and subscribe to Daily Dose of Divinity. Singing and rapping Torah with entertaining education. Sharing love, knowledge, and values to each and every nation. And if you want to be an additional fan, follow The Moving Minute on Instagram. And now for Cats Realty. Thank you, Cats Realty. When you're... When you're looking around for a place to live, don't just call on any Joe Schmo, get someone determinative. Cats Realty will find you not just a house, but a home. And with friends like these to live next to, you're truly never alone. And then a Better Edge company. Where's Chad? Where's Chad? Raise your hand, thank you. If your flower bed is growing all up in your grass, you need a separation, but want it to look first class. A better edge creates concrete borders that rock. Stylish stone like solutions about which all your neighbors will talk. Thank you, a better edge! <laughs> and future healthcare services, we'll clap after. When people get older, sometimes they need a helping hand. Hopefully, you won't need them, but safer, better be planned. Future Healthcare Services is there for your loved one to help you do keep it of aim to be the best daughter and son. <laughs> and Sincere Medical, when it comes to your health, you want providers that are sincere, whether COVID coughs or cramps or just a pain in the ear. Sincere Medical has the staff that is friendly with a smile. To take great care of you, they always go that extra mile. Thank you, Sincere Medical. And then Island Kosher. What would this island be if it wasn't kosher? Motsi Shabbos from Malavamaka, you can find me dancing in the aisles with your favorite grocer. Island Kosher is the place for all your food needs, from meats and candies, veggies, blintzes, and chone beans and seeds. Thank you, Island Kosher! And then North Jersey Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery. When you say something is bad, they exclaim it's like pulling teeth. But at this office, even with masks on, you can see them smiling underneath. North Jersey Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery is the only place to go when you want the best care for your mouth and for your best smile to show. Thank you very much! Although these events for you are absolutely free, we are still looking for some extra business or personal sponsors to help me. If you loved what we've done and can help fill up the brim, feel free to drop some cash, a check, or even Zell to Nachlas Chaim. That's N-A-C-H-A-L-A-S-C-H-A-N at gmail.com or to see me after the event. Thank you very much to our sponsors to help make this happen. Okay. And now we're going to get into a quick bio about Rabbi Shalom Arush. So just in case you don't know exactly who he is right now, you'll have a little bit of a background, and then we're going to get straight into the show. We'll have the music toned down a little bit. Where's background? Thank you so much. He's so good with that. Rabbi Shalom Arush. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbi Shalom is so sweet, with a heart of gold, can change your life with every story that is told. True simcha, he shines in each and every way and lives emuna, 
real life each night and day. Rav Shalom was born in Morocco. At age 12, with his parents to Israel, he did go. After graduating high school, served in the IDF, Elite Naval Rescue Unit, Airborne Combat Medic. While in Tel Aviv University, economics major class, five of his closest friends were killed in a helicopter crash. This shook up his life that was looking so great. After their funerals, he had a change of heart and fate. Rav Shalom's so sweet with a heart of gold can change your life with every story that's told. True Simcha he shines in every story, in every way, lives Amuna real life each night and day. This led to search for God, but he could stick to none and only clicked when he found Rabbi Nachman. Became Breslov from Rav Bender and Rav Shapiro, then moved to Jerusalem because they urged him to go. Then established the Chut Shel Chesed with his teacher's blessing to draw others closer to God, he would surely bring. Rav Shalom's teachings excite and light up your brain lobe. His garden books are number one sellers across the globe. Rav Shalom so sweet with a heart of gold can change your life with each and every story told. True Simcha he shines in every way, lives Amuna real life each night and day. Thank you very much. And before our song gets up, we're just going to introduce uh, Ellie Goldsmith to say a little bit about Amuna Nishim, Amuna Live Online, and the Chitzel Chesed. Amen. Thank you. So we're doing. Okay, I want to thank Dr. Gutzman. Everyone give a big round of applause. <laughs> yeah, we were just in his beautiful show, and we had the merit for the Rav to see inside all the way to the Aaron Kodesh. What a holy place, and it just reflects on his inner world as well. It's filled with Amuna and Simcha. He lights up many people's hearts and homes and we wish him all the blessings. Thank you. I want to thank also Chazak for partnering with our Amuna Tour 2022. We didn't know that this would be possible. There was lots of concerns in the previous Jewish year. The Rav's well-being and Baruch Hashem, everyone out there, I've been told, has been praying en masse as well as the Siddiquim, as well as all the family and friends. And Baruch Hashem, your tefillahs are answered. We're going to have the merit tonight here from Rav Shalom Oresh, our rabbi and uh, founder of Chut Chesed, Brez of Israel, Brez of English, amunalive.com. You can go there, brezlev.com. That's where you can get all the books and the classes and partner with the Rav on his amazing mission to bring Amuna global. This will change the world, change ourselves and bring us all closer to what we're here for. So on that note, we welcome everyone to be upstanding, to welcome the rabbi, and we are looking forward to hear from you, your journey in Amuna. Everyone, please say thank you to Hashem. Blessed be His name for the Holy Torah that Hashem has given us. Thank you, Hashem. Ask Rabbi Dinelga to join the rabbi closer, please. You can the video. Yes, please. Thank you. Toda <laughs> Hashem. Thank you, Hashem, for all the Shabbos, all the festivals, all the mitzvahs, the commandments, and all the tzaddikim that Hashem has given us. Thank you, Hashem. 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 Thank you, Hashem, for this beautiful shul. Thank you, Hashem, for this beautiful shul. For the electricity. For the microphones. 
For the podium. Thank you, Hashem, for making us all meet together and come here together tonight. <laughs> the Holy Zohar calls Noah a foolish shepherd. Lama. Why? After Noah came out of the ark, he saw the world was destroyed, and then he started praying. The Zohar calls him a foolish shepherd. Noah certainly knew that Hashem was merciful. But maybe he didn't know that through prayer you can make people do tshuva. He saw that his generation were very great evil people. He thought he spoke to them they didn't listen to him. But he didn't know that he could pray for them. And they would repent, they'd do tshuva. Abraham Avinu Gam Avraham Avinu also didn't know that you can pray for people to do tshuva. But he knew that Hashem was more merciful than Noah knew. That's why he prayed and asked that if in the city of Sodom we have ten righteous people, then in their merit Hashem should save the whole city. That's the maximum that Avraham Avinu grasped that through those righteous people he could save the rest of the city of Sodom. But Moshe Rabbeinu, but Moshe Rabbeinu he knew that you can pray for the most evil people to do tshuva and to repent. Moshe Rabbeinu knew the mercy of Hashem. In the most perfect way possible. In the time of Moshe Rabbeinu, where Am Yisrael made the golden calf and Hashem wanted to destroy them, uh, 
He prayed for them for 40 straight days and nights that Hashem should forgive them for that grave sin that they committed. And Hashem said to him, I shall forgive them as you asked. The Holy Zohar says that if Moshe Rabbeinu was alive in the times of Noach, there wouldn't have been a flood. And if Moshe Rabbeinu was in the times of Ravam Avinu, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah would not have been destroyed. That's why he is called Moshe, our teacher and master. We all need to learn from him to pray for our generation. Our holy Rebbe, Rabbi Nachman of Bresla, writes in his book, Likute Moran, he writes in Torah 282, No, that you need to judge every person favorably, even a person who is completely evil. You need to seek, to seek and to find within him even something good, something small that is good. And by judging him favorably, you can make him do tshuva and repent. Rabbi Natan writes in his book, Likutei Halochos, that the righteous people follow this path and they observe the good of Am Yisrael. Our work is to believe that every single person of Am Yisrael is good. And it starts with yourself. A person's dark side, his goal is only one thing. It tells you that you are evil. That is the only dark side a person has. And if you merit to know yourself, that you are good, you don't have a dark side anymore. He has a dark side, but the dark side is unable to defeat him. So everyone here needs to know you are good. 
and your will and desire is only good. We'll take an example. A person who all his life was far, far away from Hashem. And he did all the Averis, all the transgressions that exist in this world. He impurified himself with the worst things that you can imagine in this world. And suddenly he merited to know that there is Hashem in this world and he starts coming closer to Hashem. In the morning he gets up and he says in the morning prayers, My God, my Lord, the soul that you gave me is pure. A hundred years, he did all the sins and transgressions and defiled himself. So how can he get up in the morning and say that his soul is pure? Because a person is his soul. And the soul is part of the Creator, blessed be his name. And the soul is pure. Everything is always good. A person's battle is that he needs to know that he is good. And the evil, the dark side, that's not him. This truth we're taught by our teacher and master and Rebbe, Rabbi Nachman of Breslov. When a person knows that he is good, that his will and desires are good, even if his dark side managed to overcome him and he failed something, he knows that that is not him because he is good, his will is good, he just didn't pray enough, he didn't have enough preparation, but his essence is good and pure. Rabbi Nathan explains to us that this is what the righteous people are working on. The righteous people work and deal all the time finding the good in Am Yisrael. Rabbi Nachman writes, through this we build the Mishkan, we build the temple. And Rabbi Nathan repeats this again. Again, 
בכל כוחם, ידי נלך בידי זה, ידי די השם אדבח, גם השם אדבח, כל העניין שלו, שם אדבח, הוא רק רואה את הטוב של עם ישראל. And through this the tzaddikim toil to follow the way of Hashem, blessed be his name. Because Hashem is always seeking to see the good in Am Yisrael. Abenu kutev betura is the Eos the Anin helek yeshini. Rabbi Nachman writes in Torah 17 in the second part, Derech Hashem mitbarach la'abit ala tovot sh'ahav osim. Hashem's path, Hashem's way, is to observe the good that one does. And even though they have something that is not so good within them, He doesn't look at that, He doesn't observe that. Like is written, Hashem did not see anything wrong with Yaakov. which is a name for Am Yisrael. And that is how the tzaddikim follow the way of Hashem, blessed be His name. And who is called a tzaddik? What is a tzaddik? Mazik. A tzaddik, a righteous person, is someone who justifies every single person. As long as you cannot see the good in every single one, you're not yet a tzaddik. Smile. I'm reading a bit more from the book Likuti Halachas. Hashem Edbarach Miyape Et Yisrael Tamid Hashem, blessed be His name, beautifies Am Yisrael always. Masakel Zalk Atob Shabayim And He looks only at the good that exists within them. Like is written in Shir Hashirim, Shahara Ani Benavan. I am black, yet I am beautiful. Ashi Akadosh, Mefaresh, Akol, Ashi. And the Holy Rashi there explains that Hashem strengthens, strengthens them and loves them even though they have sinned and even after they have sinned. And Rabbi Nathan writes in the Kuti Alochus, In another verse it says that a righteous person, he grows like a palm tree. Why is a righteous person called a palm tree? Loshon Tmura. It is the word of Tshmura, which means replacement. <laughs> that he, what he does is he replaces every single thing for a better way, a better explanation. Rabbi Nathan explains that the tzaddik, the righteous man, knows 
that a person is only good. And every time we have criticism on a person, he replaces it and changes it only in a good way. Our sages say that if a person has a thousand powers who are criticizing him, yet he has one angel that views him in a favorable way, that person will be able to merit and his judgment he will be acquitted. And the tzaddik, the righteous person, knows how to find the good point in every single person. It is written that all the exiles are named the name of Mitzrayim, Egypt. And the word Mitzrayim in Hebrew comes from the phrase they make things narrow, they make things restricted and confined. And Rabbi Nathan explains that the dark side, his power, is to take all the good of Am Yisrael and make it something which is not visible, make it something which disappears. And through that he increases upon a person fears, looking at himself in a negative way, depression, sadness. A person that knows that he is only good. And that is called the person who believes in himself. The dark side cannot defeat him. And he always increases and increases and works on himself to be happy. Smile. <laughs> Every single day I sit and I receive people. They're all sad, they don't believe in themselves. That's why I specially try to speak and to teach the most important point, which is teaching people emuna, faith. I told you if you remember, what is emuna? Everyone would repeat after me. Emuna. Emuna. Hashem Barach. Hashem, blessed be his name, always loves me. Hashem always loves me. And everything will be only good. And everything will be only good. And it will be even better and better. It will be better and better. 
מה זה אמונה? Remember what אמונה is? אז אחר? Remember? טוב, עוד פעם. אוקיי, כן. אמונה. אמונה. השם יתברך. השם בלסת בי אזניהם. תמיד אהב אותי. תמיד. תמיד יהיה לי רק טוב. יהיה לי עוד יותר טוב, עוד יותר What is Emuna? As Nera Nera Lachem Shadam Yodim the law. You think that you know it, but no. Kulaz man Shirash Lachem Mashavot Hanyasim Shirash Lachem Mashavot She I ‫אדם... בוכים, ‫שהם מלמונים, בוכים, דורגים, ‫מלמונים. ‫אנשים חרדים, אני אומר, ‫סליחה, אני לא יכול ‫לשמוע כל כך כפירות. ‫סליחה. ‫-You think you have אמונה. The people come and they tell me their negative thoughts. They're worried about this and about that. How am I going to marry my daughter? How am I going to have finances? And I sit and I think to myself, everything is going to be, is going to be just good. And I can't even listen to them because I can't hear such fear, such heresism. <laughs> Someone said yesterday in my class, it's going to be good. No translation either. It's going to be good. That means it's, that now it's not good. That is exactly the opposite of emuna. Hashem will help. We say in the Shmona Yisra, the king that helps now, not that he's going to help in the future. You need to live Emuna. What is Emuna? What is Emuna? You have to repeat it. I said to someone, you have to write down what is Emuna. And repeat it again and again. He came into me without any smile. I said to him, smile. He started trying. This and that and this. He came out with a smile. Oh, what a smile. He got a Muna. So, if a fear enters you, or you have any, any kind of anxiety, say to yourself, only good is going to happen to me. And it's going to be even better and better. Nonsense. What am I thinking? Every worry that enters your heart or your mind is nonsense. 
That is the healing of the soul. That emunah that Hashem granted me to write, that is the healing of the soul. All the fears, the anxieties, the worries, the sadnesses, they all fly away. Nonsense. Only good is going to happen to me. Last year I also said this, and I'm repeating this again. Someone heard me say that it's going to be only good, and he said, Amen. Remember, I spoke about this? I said, What? If I say a book, you're going to say, Amen. <laughs> no translation. I'm going to say, Che, you're going to say, Amen. I'm going to say, Amen. It's the same thing. I'm telling you that Hashem loves you and everything will only be better. Everything is only going to be good and it's only going to get better and better. It's a reality. It's not a blessing. That's why, why am I repeating it again and again? People say to me, I hear your classes and yet I'm sad. Come on. If you heard me, how can you be sad? Only good is going to happen to you. On Yom Kippur, Hashem granted me to understand the point that will help a person know himself. I gave a talk before the last prayer of the day, the prayer of Ni'ilah. I said to everyone that Hashem, blessed be His name, knows that you are good. I just now read that Hashem looks only at the good of a person. But the dark side makes a person think that if I sin, Hashem doesn't love me, Hashem hates me, heavens forbid. Hashem knows that you have a pure soul. Hashem knows that you only want good. Hashem knows, so strengthen yourself. Don't fall from Imuna. I am explaining to you the common sense, the way to think in a straight way. Adam or say. A person does good. A person does mitzvahs, commandments. 
מתפלל. He davens. עושה מצוות. He does mitzvahs. אז כל יום יש לו עוד מצוות, מצוות. So every day he has more commandments and more commandments. It's accumulating to quite a lot. אז מה שאתם צריכים ללמוד לעשות, שתהיו זכויות לשלמות. So what you need to know in order to reach perfection and wholeness is to do every day and hour of it what it does. What is it what it does? Tshuva. Tshuva, repentance. Adam also call yom tshuva. Every day a person does tshuva. As avarot, call yom otse tshuva va mitzvot So regarding the sins, he does tshuva and repents every single day. Regarding the mitzvahs, the commandments, he accumulates them on a daily basis. I wrote in my book. Thank you. I wrote in my book. The forest fields. Adam shows a kol yom. that a person that repents on a daily basis that is called tshuva, repenting out of love. Why? Because a person does tshuva שהשם ימחל לו על העוונות, והיא לא יראה אצלם. נורמלי, איך אדם עושה תשובה? איך אדם עושה תשובה? הוא יש לו תשובה, 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 כל החיים עושים, גם הימים הכי יפים עליהם, עושים צובה. Thank Hashem, one does tshuva on a daily basis, even in the most beautiful days in a person's life. אז זה נקרא תשובה מאהבה. That is called tshuva, repenting out of love. הגמרא הקדושה. The holy Gemara. מי שעושה תשובה באהבה, אפילו זדונות. The Holy Gemara says that a person who does tshuva out of love, even the sins that he did on purpose, which are called zdonot, they become into zchuyot, into merits. So what's the conclusion? Mitzvahs, a person does more and more and accumulates more and more mitzvahs. And the sins also turn into mitzvahs. <laughs> and that's why it's going to get better and only get better and better. Smile. The greatest gift that a person can receive in this world is that he shall merit to do on a daily basis an hour of it also the women everyone has to do on a daily basis an hour of it every day repent Every day I tell Hashem, what did I do from the Yom Kippur that I had yesterday till the Yom Kippur that I have today? If you do tshuva on a daily basis, every day you have a Yom Kippur. Smile. And he also has Purim every day. One hour Yom Kippur. 23 hours and the whole day Purim. 
חיים יפים. Beautiful life. גן העדן. Heaven on earth. תודה לשם. Thank you. אני רוצה לתת... I also want you to have heaven on this earth. So it's very important to learn the books. Books that Hashem wrote. about Emuna, about gratitude, about it what to do, it's very important to read the books. And to live a beautiful life. Our holy Rebbe told his students, Why are you allowing Hashem to decree bad things on Am Yisrael? The students looked at the Rebbe, And they were bewildered. We can stop HaKadosh Baruch Hu from decreeing bad things on Am Yisrael. He said to them, yes, you can. When a Jew speaks to Hashem, And he asks him that Hashem should allow him to do tshuva and repent. That hour Hashem does not decree anything bad on Am Yisrael. That's what's written in the Zohar, and I learned that Zohar several times. That when a person does tshuva, Hashem tells all the angels, all of you, get out of here now. No one will interfere with this prayer. And Hashem hears you and you and you. And that hour there'll be no decrees on Am Yisrael. There was once that many years ago a plane was hijacked. I don't know if you remember. A plane that was full of Jews. In our yeshiva we decided to do a 24-hour going on it what it did. We did turns among the students. There were great miracles. Hashem saved them. Something that was in a supernatural way. Every 
Certainly, the more and more people do it for the dut, there's a chance for us to annul these decrees. Even when a person as small as me does an hour of it for the dut, he can protect the whole world. There are two things that we all need to do. Every day to do tshuva and repent. A person that does tshuva. He doesn't put on extra heavy weight on Am Yisrael with his sins. That's one. And also, like I said, he protects Am Yisrael. And also, we need to pray for Am Yisrael to do tshuva and repent. That's one. And the second. To spread out, to distribute the books and the booklets. Today we sat together and received people. A woman came. She's been reading and learning the books. For three years, she's been doing an hour of it what do on a daily basis. And she's shining. She's alive. She's happy. After that, someone else came in. And also he tells us that he read the books, he does it, bodudut, and is absolutely alive. The third one, Isha Ogoya. A woman, a non-Jewish woman. She read the books. She stopped going to church. She does it on a daily basis. And she's alive and happy. I had after that 10 minutes of an intermission of a break and I stayed alone. I started crying. I said to the creator of the world, Give the whole world life. Give them the books. These books are not books. They're life. All day long I pray for this. Creator of the world, everyone here that read a book, and you come to me and you say to me, change my life, change my life. So you yourself need to go and help other people. What do I do? From the beginning. When I received the Muna, I go day and night to teach another person and another person. Everyone here needs to do what I do. To go and distribute and distribute the books. You don't know how to speak like I do? Okay, go give people books. 
תלמד ותלמד האחרים. More so, if you yourself can learn and teach others. וכל אחד יש לו קבוצות, יש לו מאמרים. And everyone can have groups and you can send them articles, you can enlighten the world. We need to distribute to all the non-Jews. Every day non-Jewish people come to my house and they tell me that they read the books and they do an Avid Bodedut and they're alive, alive! Now I understand why Chacham Avraham Chai, a blessed memory, who was one of the great hidden tzaddikim, used to call me he who revives the dead. This is many years ago. Now I understand. We need to know. I know this a hundred percent. Hashem wrote those books. I don't know, but I I have no thought that it's me. Hashem gave me a Muna and allowed me to write those books. Everything is Hashem. Everyone here needs to be good. Rabbi Nachman writes, Who is called good? He who goes to distribute and to spread the word out to others. Why? Says the Rebbe. Ah. Hashem revealed to you something good? You need to reveal it to other people. This is what he writes the Rebbe in Torah 21. Everyone needs to distribute and distribute. The Rebbe writes in the seventh Torah, no that the main reason that we are in exile is because of the lack of emuna. This year, our sages told us that Mashiach will come at the end of the seventh year, the end of Shnata Shemitah the Shviz. This year, this is called the end of the Shviz. If everyone wakes up and to do what I'm telling you, to do every day an Avid Bodedut, and to every day repent and to pray for Am Yisrael and to spread out and distribute the books to Am Yisrael and to distribute also to the non-Jews everyone will have a Muna 
And the Mashiach, the Redeemer, shall come. The Mashiach, the son of David, shall come. With mercy. Without any wars. Without any agony or hardship. Soon, really soon. Amen. Amen. Smile. So, we're doing an Abi Burudut every day, okay? Also the women here. No? We do it for the dude, everyone is going to go and distribute the books. You don't have to have money in order to distribute. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives you a lot of money. But in order to distribute, no. You buy a bit, you sell. There's a bit of profit. Until you build a big fund. You can. Every day, distribute, spread the word out. We have a booklet. A little booklet can change a person's life. Our holy Rebbe said that every single person should have his in, in his house this book, Likutei Muharram. The Rebbe said that his book, even if you can't learn it, when it's in the house, it guards the house. This too, this book Likute Muharram, spread it out, distribute it. And we shall merit with the help of Hashem that this year there will be the full redemption. Amen. Amen. I'd like to bless you. He who blessed our forefathers, Avraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov. And our foremothers, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, and Leah. He should bless all this holy congregation. And all your families. HaKadosh Baruch Hu will give you full and complete emunah. Remember what a moon is, right? <laughs> Full and complete emuna. Happiness. Healing of the soul. If you have emuna, you have the healing of the soul. Anyone who has problems with the soul will learn the books on the Muna. You shall have the healing of the body. Those who are looking for their soulmates will find them this year. True peace and tranquility in your homes shall give you sons and daughters that are righteous and pious. Livelihood in abundance and happiness of life. And you shall merit to do an hour of it bodedut on a daily basis. Amen. And you shall merit all to distribute and merit other people. Amen. Amen. And together all of us shall receive Mashiach Ben Dovid with great mercy, with no wars, with no agony or hardship, 
Very soon, Amen. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Rabbi Shalma Rush. <laughs> We're going to do a question and answer session for the Rav. We'll have the translation with Rav Dayan, and he'll translate the question for you. If you're not able to speak in Hebrew, not a problem either. We'll start right up in the front, Rabbi Chait. Go ahead. English is fine, so everybody else can hear. <laughs> You I'll translate, yes. Yes, yes. So one second, one second. Give, give me a Okay. Everyone look in that direction. Okay? Good. How... How does one combat... <laughs> Amen. How does one combat um, the people in the world that are, I guess, two things? One question. Well, it's a question split. Okay. Though, but, um, one, people are very negative, like they have like a real draining energy, you know, you have to kind of deal with them. But the second one is Chachmi Ateva. That they just uh, like dumb everything down to nature and they kill your emuna. You ran away from them. It's your own family. You don't speak to them. Shalom. Hello, how are you? You don't talk to them. You don't, you don't get into conversation. Me too. I have, I have brothers who are not from. I don't converse with them. It's impossible to talk to them, really, because they're just going to kill everyone. It's limited. doesn't matter. You don't converse with them. You converse with those who want to hear. He doesn't want no, to hear. You're not trying to affect them. They just yeah. when they talk to them. They just seem to like. I say to people who start arguing with you, you're right, and I'm happy. But you're right. Okay. <laughs> Next question. You're right and you're sad and I'm wrong and I'm happy. Okay. Uh, we're going to do Mara right after the question and answer session. Go ahead, next one. Make it simple to the point if we can. Rabbi, we need money in order to live. What's the, what, what virtue can the rabbi give in order to have money? Emuna. Emuna? <laughs> No translation yet. Everything will always be good, and it will only get better and better. And you'll have money, as much as you need. And as long as you don't have any money, I'm not saying anything about you. If a person doesn't have money, that means he doesn't have money. If you have a muna, you're not lacking anything. אם יש לי אמונה, עדיין הרב צריך ללכת ולעבוד, אז המשמעות שאם יש לי אמונה, אז צריך לעבוד פחות. I'm telling you. תן חיוך. סמייל. תעבוד על אמונה. Work on אמונה. רבינו כותב בתורה ד. רבי נחמן רייטס, כשאדם יודע 
When a person knows that everything that happens to him is only for his better good, he has heaven on this earth. How do you merit to that? He writes, when a person judges himself on a daily basis, every day a person does tshuva and repents. Learn the book in forest fields, and they'll learn how to do tshuva and repent on a daily basis. And a time will come where you have full and complete emunah. Any questions from this woman back? Yeah, go ahead. אותי לימדו הרב שההתבודדות, השלב הראשון זה קודם כל להודות, השלב השני זה לבקש מחינה על העבירות, והשלב השלישי זה בקשות. ככה כתבתי בספר שלי. That's what I wrote in my book in first words. אין משהו הרב להוסיף? מחייך. סמייל. יש לי ספר, קוראים לו... I had a book called The New Light. And that book I taught how to do it, Bodedut, which includes working on your will. Because it's very important to learn this book. Um, just to, to, uh, so, okay, I understand that one has to uh, read the forest fields in order to learn how to do it, Bodedut. But I'm just wondering, you know, if for people that where an hour seems a little overwhelming, although obviously it's going to be extremely uh, beneficial, but I'm saying if it's a little overwhelming, how does one sort of ease their way into that hour? For a person who is very difficult to do this, it's very difficult to do this, it's very difficult to do this, even though it's very difficult to do this, how do you get into this hour? Very simple. You, take, you, you, you should be in a place on your own, without a phone, with, with a clock, and you force yourself to be there now. I also did the same thing. And even if you don't talk, at the end of the hour, I'd say thank you, Hashem, that I did it, Bolidut. Married me also tomorrow to come to the meeting. And all my life. I also forced myself. You have to. Is it okay to, let's say, you're sitting in a medical office? You mean Yosher Rabbi Misrad Refui? If Shabu Machshava la Asot Shemayn Bodedut B'Li Dibu? O B'Zayim Shani Noeg? Kama, Beda. Shlechani Siyah Shah. Certainly, you have a trip, you're driving for now. Close all the electronic devices. And do it now, Bel Bodedut. I want to do it, but I don't know. I do it, I do, I drive, I go slowly on the right side, I don't drive quickly, and I don't, I'm not running out, I'm not rushing anyone. I have a good life. You say, can you think it or do you have to speak it? I think he's asking. He asked the Rav, if you speak the Rav, if you need to talk about it or if you need to talk about it. You need to talk. But I myself also at the beginning, I used to come to the Bodedut, I was unable to say a single word. So I was silent. Even in my thought, I wasn't able to do it. But I wanted to talk. That's enough.
ואם האדם באותו כפרך כל יום, טוק טוק טוק, השם תפתני, טוק טוק טוק. And if a person knocks on the door on a daily basis, knock knock knock, השם open, open for me. השם, אז באיזה אסלאם השם פה. At a certain stage השם will open. לא לברח. Don't run away. Okay, keep knocking. What happened? A person doesn't manage to speak and he starts going, oh, but I can't speak, it's not worth it, and then he goes away. Be smart. Don't stop knocking the door. Question in the back? The run didn't answer one last part. If you're if you're in in an environment where there's people around you, like like I don't know, you're on a train or you're in a medical office or whatever it is, and and you wanna utilize the time properly, is that a time that you need to speak? If a person is in a place where there's people around him, he can't speak. I take a book. Sure. 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 אני יכול גם להוסיף משהו? כן. זה הרבה יותר קשה, תשים את הבלוטות באפון. לא יודע מה זה יגיד. היה באמריקה, היה חסיד, שלא היה לו מקום לצפות בדודות. הוא לא היה מקום לצפות בדודות. הוא נכנס אל התא של הטלפון. הוא נכנס אל הטלפון. הוא נכנס אל הטלפון. הוא נכנס אל הטלפון. מהייג להשם את דבריו. He was dialing to Hashem. צריכים להיות חכם. You need to be smart. It was free as well. Didn't cost. Oh, what's the question in the back? I'm sorry, I can't hear. How do you stress on teenagers? This point. איך הרב מפשיט את זה הרב לבני נוער, את הנקודה הזאת של האמונה והתפילה? אני מסביר, כתבתי בספר בגן החינוך. I explained this, I wrote this in the book in the garden of education. שחינוך זה נתינה. That education is giving. אדם שיש לו משהו, יכול לתת אותו. If you have something, you can give it over. השם מזכה אותי שכל הילדים שלי, הקלות, החרטנים, הנכדים, Hashem has merited me that all my children, all my sons and all daughters and all my grandchildren, they all do an hour in order to do it. Why? It's something that I have and what you have you can give over. I thank Hashem that whoever I speak to about doing it what it do, he does it what it do. Why? Because I live it. So, Hold on one second. Um, one of our viewers is at home, uh, Nava Bas Orli. Uh, she's trying, listening to the Rav, but also literally going through a tough labor right now. Having a baby, so... Oh, Mazel Tov! Very good. Bracha for a healthy baby. Thank you. Nava Basorli. Nava Basorli. Nava Basorli. Nava Basorli. Nava Basorli. Mazel Tov. Ela. Kol Mariot Asiyahim. Amen. 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 Go ahead. Just in the practical doing Shuvah, I was just wondering how... Kol Asiyahim. One more question. Okay. I'm just going to specify the Rebetzin said all the questions and all the answers are in the books. True. Everything is in the books. There's not one thing the rabbi didn't write about. He wrote about every single thing. Take the books. Read the books, learn the books, implement the books, live the books, and you'll have the answers for all the questions. Last question over here. Last question. Then we're going to have Marif. And then we're going to have Marif. And then Rabbi will sign if you want some books after. Maybe. I don't tell the very what to do. Okay.
Go ahead, last question. Um, just in the practical, if someone goes to the Akshar Latim or Maisa, if someone's going to the Akshar Latim or Maisa and it takes a while, is there any more practical way to work with the Akshar that would be able to, one would be able to do it in the hour? I'm sorry. What's the question? Was yeah. Shorten it, specify it. It takes a long time. Go through Makshava, Dibar, Maisa the entire day. To do that in one hour, in a third of an hour, it takes a long time. He said, Rav, to do a question, but Makshava, Dibar, Maisa is a time that takes a lot of time. How can you do this for a third of an hour? Okay. 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 Every time you do tshuva for another part, and slowly, slowly. And Hashem will give us a long life. We're meant to do tshuva for everything. How much time is it? How do you teach people to do this? That was the last question. Oh. That's it.